Good morning, guys. We are day two in Yellowstone. The what I think it's called Mammoth Hot Springs. Yeah. This is the one that's like super far away. We drove for about an hour inside Yellowstone to get here, and it looks like I'm wearing lipstick. So good morning. <laughs> this is good chap lip. My chap lips are a thing of this tour. A thing of this trip, you mean? No, I'm gonna call it a tour. This is kind of like our little personal tour. It's broccoli. It does look like broccoli. It's kind of cool, actually, it actually looks like it's snow. Oh, there's some over there. Beautiful. This elevation is getting to Allie and I, that's for sure. Or you... so much easier on the other side. <laughs> well, we did drive this is, this, the yeah, this is the mountain side. Now, every time I think I am, oh, there's a town down there. Cool. I think that's kind of like how it was over at Old Faithful. That's really pretty. Looks like snow and then, you're right, Al, uh, scales down there. Scales and snow. It's like individual swimming pools. A boiling water. I wonder why it's white just in this area. I don't know. Is it probably the sulfur? Might be. It smells like sulfur. Did it all dry up? I don't know. Looks like it kind of did. Interesting. My guess is that it did dry up or something happened to it. It's not active. Or something, yeah. I don't know. Everyone just Google Mammoth Springs and maybe a can, bit. yeah, a tiny little bit here, a tiny I little bit. The new blue spring, this area. So okay. everyone Google some images. I want to see what this it looks, looks like. Something's going on over there. Yeah, right there, and there's some water right there. Weird. Kind of weird, isn't it? Huh. I wonder Let's what this looks. Go down look there and touch it. I picture that one's not hot. Our assumption is that when they are active or whatever, the water just overflows here. That's why everything's like this and yeah. right down here. But I'm, I mean, I would think that it would be active right here, right? I think it would overflow here. I don't know. I don't know much don't about know. these things. Still learning about them. I mean, there's only, there's only just like small areas. I feel like, yeah, this is where they're supposed to be. Or at the top of that. At any rate, we'll go find something else. Get a lean, lean back, babe. Like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> that hurts. Oh my god. So Char and I are genuinely confused about this right now. We don't know if it's dried up or if that's part of Mammoth Springs. I don't know. Can springs dry up? I don't know. I mean, I don't. It's not a geyser, is it? I don't know if spring is a geyser. I, I don't actually, think I so. No I know we sound like complete idiots, and we probably should have done a little research before we came here. We have no idea. But I was, you know, when you hear something, you, you I think you're expecting something completely different. And it's not that. It's I wanna say I'm let down because I'm not let down. It was very beautiful and very cool. But I really thought maybe there was like gonna be flowing water everywhere. I thought it was gonna be like a giant hot spring. I didn't really look up too much before he came here. But still Maybe it should be Mammoth Hot Spring, not Springs. True. You know what I really thought Mammoth Springs was gonna be? Like a fossilized mammoth inside the spring. Does that show that we did not do any research whatsoever. But how cool would that be? Like if you look down you imagine? Spring, you see a fossil of a mammoth? I, that would be incredible. You couldn't get it out, could you? Can no. You I don't think water? it would actually preserve though. The boiling water? Yeah, I want it to disintegrate because nothing really survives in it. But that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, but hot springs were, There's you know. There's in Florida. There's like a mammoth inside on cold spring in Florida. So we found these like hidden springs or geysers on this path and I had to go check it out. It's pretty. Yeah. It's on a trail. We're doing everything right. Well, it's a trail nonetheless. It makes me feel like I'm not doing something wrong. That's a legit trail. Somebody literally put like rocks down to make it look like a trail. So that was good. Those crows are freaking, that's as big as your head. He doesn't even care. It's so big. We keep walking by all the geysers that we showed you guys yesterday, and I still can't get over the colors. I know, it's pretty And the clarity of the hole is just unbelievable. It's like somebody turned on the hot tub bubbles. I know, right? That's crazy. Good timing. Well, it makes sense. That one got big, then that one got big, and now I guess it's just going down the thing. We didn't get to see this one yesterday. This was actually pretty. We can't tell what's in there. It's just a bunch of like sticks and trees because it looks so so freaking weird. Crazy sculptures. Yeah, 
They look like something that people pay a lot of money for to put in your yard. Driftwood. People love driftwood. Yeah. But it's not driftwood, it's just deadwood. Deadwood. Hello friends. It's me again, Allie. I'm the host for today's show. We're gonna hike one mile in to the Mystic Falls. Come on! <laughs> All right, entering bear country. Allie, you gotta make sure to make a lot of noise and announce yourself. Say hi, Allie's coming. Where's this damn waterfall? What's up, chipmunk? Yeah, he's watching you. Hey, he doesn't like you anymore. Allie's at home right now. The mountain lady. It's so pretty. He grasped it. I actually have a question. Some of you guys know a lot more about Yellowstone than we will ever know. Why are there so many downed trees on the mountains? And like, like so many sticks? Like, is this because there's so much sulfur in the ground? Or landslides, earthquakes, I have no idea. Got but it. if you look, they're just scattered everywhere. everywhere. It's very odd, very strange. We found it. You can go up or you can go down. You wanna go swimming? I wish I brought my bathing suit, man. That guy's, he's loving it right now. You know, all we've seen on this trip so far here are chipmunks. Crows and deer. And I saw moose. And you saw one moose. Well, a lot of chipmunks. We were told that there's a place, like the only time we went to the other place early this morning was there's with the buffalo, the bison. I think because we're construction that it's kind of just them off a little bit. It was seriously like five or six miles of construction. So we gotta see if we can figure that out. We have to wake up at like like six or seven in the morning to be able to do that. That's we woke up at seven, but they still weren't out. Damn buffalo, bison. And Whatever they are. Wolves, and there's like the little, little baby puppies, little pups, little and wolf then, pups. Um, apparently, there was like a little baby fox that was out there too. And I give you my beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing that the whole trail. So Just constantly. And honestly, I think I'm a little delusional. Right? I think you've lost it. It's not even that long. We gotta get back to our beautiful RV where it's cold and there's sandwiches. <laughs> Why are you running? You're constantly running. You're gonna trip and fall on your ass. <laughs> Allie and I are completely beat. We just realized we haven't even touched maybe a third of this park. Let me just show you how big this is. This is where we're at, the west entrance. We came in here, went this way. There's Old Faithful right around here. Right there, actually, I should say. And then we went all the way up to Mammoth, which is up here. So this is all we did. And we have all this other that we're not going to be able to do. It's yeah, just we only had two days. It's, like, not even a full two days. It's just insane. There's so much. I didn't realize this part was that big. How big is this part? You were just, like, too upset with us. Tell me. <laughs> What's going on? Are you okay? Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had to go. You couldn't come. You forgive me? <laughs> so funny. 
<laughs> you burped. <laughs> For what? Put this on. Hey, put this on. <laughs> you just play with me. Come on. <laughs> Can't get it. You wanna go for a walk or not? Marley said, come on, I wanna go for a walk right now. Come on, let's go for a walk. <laughs> Put that on your face. Let's go for a walk. It's like alright. And then you had this one over here, it's like, I'm ready to go, man. I'm like, what's up? What's up? Marley, your turn. Come on. Come on, walk right into it. <laughs> right, let's do this before the storm comes. So it's raining like crazy out there. All of a sudden, I am not even kidding you, I'm. this is not a joke. It sounded like King Kong was coming through the RV park and Charles is still out there with Zoe. But basically we were walking and then all of a sudden it just goes boom, 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 boom. And it was so intense. It was hilarious. Zoe, you want to come in? I just came Come out on, of girl. Come on, Come on. I literally just came out of nowhere. <laughs> a big gust of wind. A wind and then I that like rain. Lost, lost I, my freaking mind right there. I know. I was thinking how it was like a Godzilla or it like was, a honestly, King Kong just, walking through. Just, listen, I was here. It was just like automatically, it was nothing. And then all of a sudden, it was like, a hurricane came out of nowhere. It was insane. Oh, So, oh, did yeah. you, did you see Allie? The what? Delta Eric. Yeah, Delta. L to Eric? <laughs> he gets an L. My brother gets oh. an L because I made it. Yeah. <laughs> so did you see Allie working out? Is yeah. That... Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. This is Amanda, by the way. Hi. She's staying with her cousin, right? Yes. Who's actually at the same RV park. Yes. And another small world. Second CTFX here to meet the dogs. And Marley's pissed Woo! off right now. <laughs> She's so pissed. <laughs> She's so pissed off. So, what do you want to say to your brother? Uh, I win. <laughs> Sorry, you know what? You gotta get me roots now. <laughs> so this is how Allie does her hair when she can't do the <laughs> the dryer because the RV won't let her do it because the circuit breaker. Well, hold on, I got an idea. <laughs> That's more appropriate. That's more appropriate. <laughs> Making sure she gets every little morsel. Is we good? This is actually kind of sad. This is our last night of having a little camp out since the RV trip is concluding in the next day or two. We still have quite a long drive home right now. It's the last campsite, I should say. We're gonna call it an early night because we have to wake up at like five or six in the morning to start the long journey home. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out the rest of the RV videos from the past. This how, has long been, how long have we been I gone? It's like Eight, gonna, 14, 15 days? Yeah, it's been a while. I don't even remember. It's been a while. But it's been probably one of the coolest trips and it's still not done. I mean, we're still traveling home, but. Hopefully we're gonna find I, some like I last minute things. I love traveling in an RV. You like it? Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I mean, this RV is like exceeds my expectations. But, so we're a little spoiled. We're a little We had the tour bunks and everything. Dogs are loving it. Uh, but you know what, it's, it's just been amazing and want to do it again. The fun thing is that we have four or five days to get home because I have an MRI on the 17th. 17th. So that's the only time that we have to get home for. So we are pretty much going to plan on just kind of like taking our time, maybe finding some other stuff, continuing the trip for the next couple of days. Um, all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah off the bed Bye. there, buddy. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.